Hello guys, I'm Lazero and welcome to The Suffering. So, the reason I'm playing this is for Halloween I was going to do some sort of video, but I didn't get around to it. But while I was searching for like horror games and that kind of stuff, I remembered this, which was The Suffering. Because it used to ter terrify the crap out of me when I was a kid. Kind of reminds me of a lot of uh, what Outlast is as well. Similar setting, not so much like the monsters or the weapons and everything like that. But the game is like pretty crazy, so. But yeah, it used to scare myself. I thought I'd do it for a Halloween type thing. I might even finish it as a series because I never actually finished the game when I was a kid. I barely got through it because I was so scared of playing it. But um, yeah, anyway, let's get started. Also, just before I get started, I wanted to mention I'm actually using an Xbox controller in this game. I was going to use mouse and keyboard but it's pretty shite the controls. Now, I am playing this game on PC. The reason I'm being able to control it is I'm using a software for on Steam which is called Control Companion. I manually binded the keyboard keys to my pad. I am playing it on mouse and keyboard but it's kind of like rooted through my pad so that's how it works. <laughs> Ooh, scary. Uh, so the story is that our guy is called Tot. He has been put on death row for apparently killing his wife and kids. These characters that have just been killed, like, obviously they're rapists and murderers as well. But I think we're innocent. I'm not sure, I think we are. But anyway, we're in this uh, prison and some monsters have appeared. Well, hopefully we can find out why they're here. Inmate! Back in your cell. Everything's under control. I was about 11 or 12 when I played this game, and it was so immersive at the time. I used to scare the absolute crap out of me. If you've seen me play Outlast, you know that I'm a proper boss. Oh, God! Women on there. <laughs> Oops. See you on there. Anyway, wait. Oh, oh, his head's gone. Uh, so we got uh, one of these knives, which I think are from the monsters. One of the monsters. I see some really fucked up monsters in this game, which is good. Oh. See him getting dragged up. There's a way out over here. Follow me. Yeah, this one just got a crap on my Oh look, he's still alive. Yeah, this game came out on PS2 as well. Like that's how long ago it was. Wait, he was the guy that got dragged for the event. <laughs> and he's lost his head, and that's good to shout man. Right, we've got ammo on. Right, so we need to find. This Nash up at Tire 3 I can't see what's going on. I hear sounds, but when I shine the spot down there, it's like everything scampers out of the Can't see what's going on. Oh, I can one. There we go, that's the first enemy. Oh shit. Yeah, being like a PS2 game, there is not real a combat system, like a proper one. Not something we'd have nowadays anyway. Hold it right there, or I will cut you down. You hear me, inmate? Do you hear me? Oh, I remember this guy. Give him a chance. Not nah, a hell of protocol. Him. Everything's gone to shit. Right now, I prefer a murdering scum fuck from the road or one of those monstrosities. We got a better chance to survive if we stick together. But you will do exactly what I say, or I will punch a hole in your sorry ass. Got it? Calm down, T. Fuck you. Don't let your when I see these bastards spawn, prefer to stay in the dark. Go get a flashlight from the break room down the hall. And no funny stuff, or I will blow your head off. Comprende? Right, so I've just remembered that you can actually make decisions on whether to leave people alive or kill them. I think it's like good and evil, Dad, but I don't. What's going no, it's on? Good to show me. <gasps> I 
forgot they were in this game. I think that's what used to scare the crap out of me when I used to play it. Um, so yeah, you can make decisions good and evil and that kind of stuff, so... Um, I don't think it affects the game, really. But whatever. All right, you got a light. We gotta head downstairs to get out of this shithole. And you better stay out of my way. If I need to shoot more of those fuckers, I will not hold my fire on your account. You read me? <laughs> this guy's awesome. True badass. Give me them. I've got a revolver ammo. Hopefully you can die, so I can what actually... What God's green earth is your fucking problem? Move it! Jesus Christ! You shut the fuck up! Damn, there's more of those things down here! Stay out of my way! As if he's just shot me. Back the fuck off! I'm trying to help. Just chill. That's the last of them. You handled yourself all right for an inmate. Carnate Island's got a strange now history. Gone. And Abbott is one fucked up who's gal. And let me tell you. We better stay away from the fucking basement. If things are bad up here, down there, it's gonna be like the mouth of hell. I always saw the good in you. Help me! I always it looked at their bodies it when I was done. God damn! What the hell was that? Anyone here? I gotta check it out. Why is he going now? Don't go anywhere, you fucking idiot! What a testicle you are. Give me that gun. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Scare me that. Um, right, whatever. Give me this shit out. Oh my god, these security monitors, I remember these. He used to scare the fucking shit out of me, look. There's a guy in there getting electrocuted, apparently. Right, can we change? There's me watching him over there. How do you cycle? Oh, now he's not there. Oh, there we go. Look! How fucking freaky is that? And I'm gonna turn his night over there. Um. So yeah, let's move on. Oh fuck! It wasn't scary at all. How many rounds I've got? If this was a modern day game, like a game from today, you'd have one bullet, and that'll have to last you for about five hours. Oh fuck! He's got a shot, man. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh fuck! Here comes so far. Hello? Can anybody hear me? What's going on? Hello? Let me out. How about no? Oh, no so you know what? Just for the sake of it. They want me. Fuck off, mate. Maybe our dead wife doesn't like that. Let's just listen to him. Die. Right, another chip. Right. Oh, shit. God damn. So scary. Oh, you fuck. This piece of shit. That was proper in my own world then. <laughs> I'm fucking thinking. Came behind. I don't know why that big guy is actually scaring me, I know. Oh god, this control. 
Um, that big guy that would sob behind the door is well, we actually would turn into him later on, which would be pretty cool. It's fucking, it's what kind of stopped me being scared of the game when I used to play it. Because it just felt like a god. You could just run through all the enemies. Alright, I'm not going in there. Because it's scary. Spooky. Like I have to go in there. <gasps> Ghost monster. Come out, man. Oh, escaped. Ah. <laughs> He died. Whatever. Um, I haven't been there before. Alright, no one is going on the stairs. Fuck off. Not too hard to kill when you get close to him. Alright, this is the next area. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!